Hi everyone, today's lesson is 8-3, Special Right Triangles. And after this lesson, you'll be able to use the properties of 45-45-90 and 30-60-90 triangles. So there's a couple of theorems <clears throat> to take a look at. The first one is about 45-45-90 triangles. And the big thing to remember here is obviously if we know that these are 45 degree angles, then the legs are the same. And then the side opposite of the hypotenuse is whatever the leg length is times the square root of 2. So that's the first one. The second property is that if we know that we have a 30-60-90 triangle, the side opposite the 30 degree angle, we call that S. The side opposite the 60 degree angle, it's hard to see that, but it's the square root it's S times the square root of 3. <clears throat> and then the hypotenuse, the side opposite the right angle, is 2 times whatever that side length is. So it's the short leg we consider S. The long leg is S square root of 3. And then the hypotenuse is 2 times whatever the short leg is. So let's use that information to take a look at two examples. This first one, we want to find the value of X. As we're looking at this triangle, what do you notice? We notice we have this right angle, and we know that this is 45 degrees. And so we know that angles that have to add up to 180 degrees, so that makes this angle also 45 degrees. So we can use that information from theorem 8.8 .8 to help us figure out the length of x. Now, what do we know about x? Again, X is the side opposite of the hypotenuse. And we have the leg is 7 square root of 2. And so we know by that theorem, the hypotenuse is whatever the leg length is times the square root of 2. So I'm going to take L out, put 7 square root of 2 in its place, times square root of 2. Again, the second one comes from that theorem. From here, we can simplify and say we know that square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2. And so we get 7 times 2 is equal to 14. So the length of x is equal to 14. Okay. So let's take a look at an example for the 30. My apologies, I have another example of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Sorry about that. Again, we need to find the length of x. In this case, we know the leg. Excuse me, we know the hypotenuse, but not the leg. Again, we know that this is also a 45 degree angle. And by that theorem, we know that the hypotenuse is 2 times, not 2 times. Sorry about that. We know that it is the leg times square root of 2. Well, what information do we know? In this case, we know that the hypotenuse is 18. We don't know the leg, and we have the square root of 2 here. So now what I'm going to do is divide, use what we know about solving equations, divide both e sides of our equation by square root of 2. And on the left-hand side, that leaves us with L. Again, L is representing our leg length. <coughs> And what we can do is multiply both the top and the bottom by square root of 2, so we get rid of that radical in the bottom. And so that gives us 18 square root of 2 over 2. And now if we look closely, we can simplify 18 over 2 to make 9 square root of 2 over 1, or just 9 square root of 2. And what is that 9 square root of 2? This is the value of x. So again, working backwards. Again, going back here, we multiplied by square root of 2 over square root of 2 so we can get rid of that radical in the bottom half of our fraction. All right, on to example number 3. Here's our example with the 30, 60, 90 triangle. And so we're going to use the properties of this to find both x and y. So looking back at what that property says, we know 
that the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times whatever s or the short leg is. And again, where's the short leg? It's the one opposite the 30 degree angle. So in this case, the hypotenuse is 2 times 21, which is 42. And our hypotenuse is x. Okay, And then we do the same thing. We know that the long leg is equal to whatever the short leg is times the square root of 3. And we see that the short leg is 21. And I'm just going to leave it as 21 square root of 3. If you wanted to figure out what that decimal value is, you can grab your calculator and do 21 times square root of 3 and then hit equals, but you can also leave it as 21 square root of 3. So there you have the properties of 45, 45, 90. If you're in the building, could you come down to the main office, please? Chris I and Lindsay to the main office. Sorry about that. The properties of 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90.